Hey, good morning. Uh, this morning's smoothie is really one of my really, really basic ones, and it's a banana and strawberries. So it's really strawberry because I've added extra strawberries to help with the milk. My name is Kelly, and I like making smoothies in the morning and in the afternoon. Now, I do put a banana in it, so it gives me like two servings of fruit, but I also use regular milk. I'm not here to sell you anything, or talk about the type of protein I take, or anything else. Just what I put in my smoothie to make me feel good. And I just wanted to let you know, you can do the same for with yourself too. So I just got finished stirring it up. You don't need to watch people do that, I think. And then speed the video up, yeah. So this is what it looks like. It's going into one of these. Now, if this is too much for you, my recipes are divided in half at the bottom. I put a full recipe at the top. You can see it's kind of, you know, going down the smoothie there getting it all out. A couple things about making smoothies and trying to be consistent. One, you want to wash the pitcher out as soon as you're done. Two, you want to leave your mixing machine or your blender or whatever type of device that you use to make your smoothies with accessible. Whether that's on a counter, on a bookcase, but if you have to constantly move things around, sometimes you don't really use them. Uh, I've had to reorganize my counter a few times to use certain types of uh, tools. But if they're put away or hard to reach, you're just not going to do it. That's also true with smoothies. You have to give yourself a little bit of prep time. Like, I use all frozen fruit. Ice cubes are great to speed up it, but sometimes it leaves a water down after taste. The other thing I do with my smoothies is all my dry ingredients. I put in a container ready to go. Let's see, do I have one? Oh. This is about the size of the container I use. So when I have my stuff on the counter, I have my milk, my yogurt, the fruit, and one of these. Everything's already pre-measured out. I do about seven to ten containers that last me about a week, and it's ready to go. What's in my containers? Try ingredients. My protein powder. And make sure your scoops are level because protein powder can get really gritty if you don't level them out. I also notice if I have half a smoothie, then I do half a scoop of protein powder, half my dry ingredients. I put my collagen in there. I put in there um, my flex seed, so it's all ready to go. So I don't have all of these packets and all of these different measuring scoops out. Usually I end up with two measuring scoops in the morning, one for the yogurt, because I just do a crater full of yogurt, and it's usually plain. Or if I've had a yogurt that's been sitting in the refrigerator, one of the flavored ones, I'll throw that in instead of my other yogurt. Got my milk and my measuring cup for that, and right into the blender it all goes. Now, some of the new blenders will have the measuring on the side. Use that. Make it simple. It's about having fun with your food. That's the importance. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Very, very. Mmm. Very, very. Very strawberry. So if you love strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, whatever, in your smoothies, go for it. Have a great day. Remember, subscribe to my video. Hit that little button down there. I'd love to hear from you and what your smoothie of the day is. Enjoy.